From Studio 3 at Buzz TV, it's The Horse's Mouth with Tom McManus. All right, welcome into another edition of The Horse's Mouth here on Buzz TV. Of course, we're at the bar at Tommy Max. Where else would we be? Brought to you by my good friends at Carpet Man Floor and Home of the LVP. That's right, luxury vinyl planking. Great to have them on board. They are a great friend of the program. We're talking sports. We're talking ball. We're talking investments, wealth management, uh, whatever else comes to mind. Let's welcome in. The panel. Coach John Bonamago is here, BSN Sports, so former good. JAG coach, former college coach, <laughs> former NFL coach, <laughs> recently retired from the coaching ranks. Is that correct, Coach? Yes, yes. But always coached him. Always coaching. That's and, right. You, know, you look like you're coaching. I mean, look, I know, you look like you'd be roaming the sidelines right now. Like it's all free stuff. What can I say? <laughs> when you look back on your career, Coach, great career. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. What do you what do you what do you think of when you look back? I mean, it's fresh, right? Yeah, it's pretty I, fresh. I think the the number one thing is the people, you know. Good. And people always ask like, what was your favorite team? What was this? it? They're all different. They're all good. It's about the people, you know. It's the, you know, it's the people you see daily, you know, yep. in the hallway, the, the the players, the other guys that you got to serve with on the staff. It's uh, yep. a lot of great memories, a lot of great relationships, and fortunately in this role, I get to. I get to at least stay in touch with a lot of those people. Absolutely, man. You'll never forget those relationships. And when you're on the same page, that always helps, right? It certainly does. Absolutely. Great yep. to have you. Brad Genser is here. Hey, Brad. Hey. Founder and uh, Chief Technology Officer of Farther. That's right. Investment and Wealth Management Firm. Thank you. Thanks for being here. Appreciate it. Yeah, thanks for having me. So at MIT, grad times two or three, I'm told. <laughs> All right. Yes. And you served our country as well. Thank you for our, your service. Well, thank you. Tell us about Farther. Tell us about how long you've been doing it for and what you guys, uh, what you're doing. Sure thing. So Farther is, a, is, is, we really look at ourselves as building the next great financial institution. We're really focused on clients okay. and helping them to sort of build, their, build and preserve their wealth. And uh, it's incredibly important. Personal wealth is the stuff that dreams are made of. Sure. And um, we are here to bring people and technology together to really have better outcomes for clients. Was that always your path when you were young, like getting into what you're into now? Was that something that you're like, you know, this is... Oh gosh, no! I was I was going to play football in the NFL. Oh. Did you? <laughs> Don't we all? Don't we all? Yeah, 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 yeah. Some of us aren't big enough. <laughs> but after that, after, after that, that, after I got over the heartbreak of, of, of yeah. you know playing behind the guy who's 250 pounds in sixth grade, I uh, <laughs> I, uh, I actually was all set on the army, and I was 100 percent going to West Point, and and, oh, and, no and, and went right. there and didn't think about the the business world at all. But as I was making my transition after a couple of deployments mm -hmm. I was looking for an industry like I, I was looking for something that was like really uh, personal really uh, where you could build something entrepreneurial and wealth mm -hmm. management is that I went to Goldman Sachs where I where I worked okay. for as a wealth advisor and then later led technology teams and building technology to help advisors grow okay um, you know fast forward to farther there's just a huge opportunity a growing opportunity in wealth to help people, and there just are not enough people to serve them, and technology okay. is going to be the answer to okay. how we serve the world's wealth. Are we talking like automate, like just automation policies? You know, following, you know, your your lead, that type of thing, and what you're investing in, and how you manage all that. Yes, and, and like you know, per uh, per my background at MIT, I yeah. tend to look at things as, as, <laughs> as math problems. Yeah, and, and right. wealth is actually a math problem. Wealth is is beyond, and wealth management is really beyond just investments. It's about insurance. It's about tax. Taxes, it's about sure. it's about right. trust and estate planning and all of those kind of are, are math problems and they can be solved by technology. And meanwhile, it's also a people problem. Like right. wealth is intensely, intensely personal. Yep. You have to make decisions about what's gonna happen to you and your when you're dead. Mm -hmm. That is something that is just like right. Right. you're facing your mortality and yeah, so it's about people too. And yep. that's the challenge is to how do you bring the best of what technology can bring yep. and marry it with that personal kind of touch that people have. Cool. Great to have you on the show, man. Thank you. Appreciate yeah. it. Daniel Gillum is back. How yeah. are you, my man? Good to do How long have you been with Farther? Uh, September will be two years. Okay. 
Have you always so. had the wealth management background, the financial advising background? Or? No, I actually came up in the engineering side. I was uh, with okay. AOL back in the day. So usually when people hear that, they immediately go to the screeching modem noise uh, <laughs> back in the day. Like, right. you've got mail. Right, um, right, right. But no, I, uh, my, my foray into wealth uh, came from experiencing the, the tech bubble and burst. I was at AOL okay. back in the day and okay. really wanted to go out and use my, uh, use my skill set to help people not make the same mistakes so many people did back then. Okay. Cool. Well, great to have you back on the show. Yeah, great to have you. Absolutely. Here. Nelson's here as well. Nelson yes, Bradshaw, sir. how are you, my friend? Doing great to have you sir. back. Always You've had a, a career of this, haven't you? Well, uh, more on the, the banking side, most of it, managing uh, markets for uh, an international bank for years. Okay. But uh, part of that was managing the wealth area. And uh, as uh, I decided to go through a transition and sort of tech that, uh, scratch that tech, uh, technical and entrepreneurial scratch. Okay. Uh, I was talking with Daniel. I've been actually trying to hire Daniel for years in my wealth shop. Okay. wasn't successful, but when I was going to leave the bank, I said, why don't we partner together? And he had just started uh, working with, with Farther and the innovation that was going on there. Mm -hmm. And I said, well, this really works well because, you know, my client for 35 years has primarily been uh, closely held businesses of some size and helping them with all things financial. Sure. So this gave me the opportunity instead of doing it necessarily all in one brand, brand, one bank who does some things good and some things not good. Yep. Is that you know, Father had the platform to do the wealth management stuff, yep. but it also has and is building the relationships to do the other pieces like insurance and other risk management that goes mm -hmm. along with building your wealth. So with wealth and tax, you mentioned taxes. That's that's a big part of it, right? How to beat that game, so to speak. Now we're trying to beat any game. <laughs> I rest. I didn't mean it like that. I didn't mean it like that. But you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, to help navigate no. through all of that, right? Yeah, that, that, that's, that's right. gotta be a big thing. It, 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 it is a big thing. And you know, Per, I, I do think that people phrase it like, how do I beat my taxes? You, you, we are going to pay taxes, and right. every client is going to pay taxes. Right. But legislators make carve-outs for certain things, and doing, doing things in an optimized way can really have a tremendous impact okay. over, your, uh, over the time of, of your kind of wealth growth. You know? Yep. Absolutely. Yeah, we, we actually were able to write an article for Bloomberg Tax uh, when the stretch IRA uh, was phased out. So it's okay. uh, us being subject matter experts, being on top of those legislative changes so yep. that we can uh, ensure that our clients are making the best decisions. All right, speaking of technology, AI is, you, you know, just everyone keeps talking about it. Will, will that, how will that affect what you guys are doing at Farther? So there's a lot of AI baked into Farther's broad kind of thesis already. around technology okay. Okay. Are, are already. And uh, I'm, I'm a practitioner of AI, have been for a long time. Okay. A lot of what I did would be classified as AI when I was at Goldman. My thesis at MIT was largely based on like AI type of stuff. Okay. Wow. And you know, this is a much broader theme about like how we can encode things, we can code it, and then it will run forever and it can do the, do analysis for, for us. Right. So what that does is it allows us to provide a more constant experience to clients and a more personalized experience at scale. So sure. you should not have the same wealth experience as Daniel. You right. are doing two different things. Sure. And AI allows us to sort of make better decisions that are more personal and more tuned into those things like your tax situation. Sure. You can really optimize those things. Very wow, that's time. fascinating. Coach, can you imagine like, Writing up your playbook with AI, wouldn't that be awesome? <laughs> <laughs> you know, just type in like awesome offensive awesome. play, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> like here you go. Sometimes I felt like I was the AI. You were the AI. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Especially when you're the head coach, right? Yes. I mean you're running the entire show from yeah. top to bottom. You do, but you you know, as any good business it's in you got to have great people underneath you. You know, yeah. you're only you're only as good as the people you surround yourself with. It yeah. doesn't matter what you're doing. It sounds like you guys would say the same thing, wouldn't you? Absolutely. Whether we're talking football, we're talking investments, right. we're talking technology, right? It's about the people, isn't it? Yeah. It's a, it's about the people, and I actually think the, the the thing with AI is that it enables people to go farther. No okay. one's AI. I, I'll sort of clearly state that AI is not going to replace anyone. It's going to enhance people, okay. and it's, and it's going to allow head coaches to make fewer decisions that don't matter and more decisions that do matter, mm -hmm. for example. Like critical the decisions, critical, critical kind of moments in a game, the AI game. can help. It's like uh, it's like riding, a, riding an e-bike or something yeah. like that for, for your mind. And we yeah. use it, we use AI pretty frequently to help with coding tasks and stuff, yeah. and you can just do more. 
and but there's still a person there in the center yeah. controlling it all. I, I'm having flashbacks to Coughlin's team meetings with, he'd be like, all right, on third and 12 from our own 25 uh, with 20 seconds to go, the wind's five miles an hour, the rain's coming, they're going to do this. And yeah. you're like, what? Like, how do you figure that out? Can you imagine him with AI? Yeah. Holy cow, that's fantastic. <laughs> all right, so what's next for a farther? How do you, how do you continue? Obviously, you're going to ride the wave of technology, but what's next for you guys in, in becoming even more successful? Well, we're building, we're building a, I actually think it goes to people. We're building not just technology, we're also building a big, great financial institution okay. that requires a lot of really great people who are motivated. They say that I'm not satisfied with the state of the world, it needs to be better, we need to do a better job for clients, okay. and we're looking for those people, and, and people who are coming in to put in the work, which is probably what any football coach would say. Absolutely, right? that's yeah, right. you got to put in the work, no <laughs> doubt about it. That's yeah, there's awesome. no way around it. Yeah. No, you're right, you're right. Good people that like to work hard yeah. yep. but, and smart. Yeah, but the nice thing about it is with the technology, it used, it, it traditionally someone that was a financial advisor might spend 40, 50% of their day doing sort of operational, getting accounts moved, rebalancing yeah. all that. Sure. Well, this allows them to spend 25% more of their time FaceTime with right. day with clients than they doing do that, that stuff. So yeah. they can make a bigger impact yeah. overall. Spending more time with the clients, which yeah. is really important, Yeah. yeah. right? It's Spend more time important. with your players. <laughs> yeah, yeah, That's absolutely. Yep. All right. Well, great for having you. Thanks for being here. Great to have you on the show, man. Yeah. And safe travels back to Jersey, baby. Yeah, thank All you. All right. Awesome. All right. That'll do it for us My, this time around here on the horse's time. mouth. Yeah, hey, all, all are welcome what? at my bar. All are welcome to be a part of this great show. So until next time, stay safe and be cool out there. We'll see you right here on the horse's mouth. Cheers. Cheers.